what's so no, weird? It, it always looks like I've got liner on and I don't. It always looks like you have liner on. Like you're, yeah, uh, like under here, it looks like I've got liner on and I don't, of course. Hey, maybe you're born with it. Maybe, maybe. maybe. So. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like you're in Star Trek. Oh, like it's it beam me up. Yeah. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? Like well, we have somebody special today. Fabrizio Fab Filippo. Fab Filippo. Hey. The guy is so talented. Oh my God. I think he has created two of the best things on CBC ever. Save yeah. me and sort of. He's got director credits. He's got writer credits, producer yeah. credits, but just his acting. He goes back to 1990 show called Cats and Dogs, Street Legal, Canadian Bacon, Happy. Queer as Folk, Available Hours, Being Erica, Way Downtown. He won a Canadian Screen Award for Save Me. I'm, I know I'm setting the clocks back 50 years, but he's really dreamy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Fab Filippo. Cheers, Fab. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for asking me. Congratulations on sort of. It, thank you. I've, I've watched it and it's so good. It's funny, it's sharp, it's smart, it's witty. Are you happy living with your straight sister, dating your homo-ish boyfriend? I'm a nanny. Like Mary Poppins? I think I love it. Bilal Beg, who plays Subby, who's also the co-creator, co-writer, co-showrunner, and I were doing a play together. We just started chatting about writing, and then that grew into pitching ideas to each other. I just think we should build a show around you. Not write you, but a character that's kind of like you. Bilal had been a nanny. We were both like, oh my god, that. <laughs> Cats and Dog was your first gig. Is that true? Yes. Okay, no. Okay. Thanks for saving my girl, cats. That's amazing that you dug that up. I remember watching it with all my friends. Yeah. When the line came out, we all cheered. It was hilarious. You nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah. Thank you. Did you go to theater school? And I was a tarragon baby. When I was like 16, I took my first class because of my drama teacher. She said, you should go to the The next year they had like spring Chekhov. You had to audition for it. I said to myself, if I make it in this, then I'm going to really make it go of this acting thing. And then I, I got to go in. And then that opened the door to the Toronto theater world. Let's talk about Buffy. Think of this as my last ditch effort. I realized that one more is going to qualify as stalking. I've given a lot of thought, some might say too much thought, to, to how I might be a part of your life. I think I forgot that I got to kiss Sarah Michelle. <laughs> she got to kiss you. Yes. Oh, you. When I got the part, it hadn't become the seminal TV show that it would become, you know? So it was really interesting. And I remember going, what? What is this Buffy the Vampire's Lair? Oh, this is a good show. I went through your Instagram. <laughs> Fab's Almond Butter Spoon. Somebody who I love very much gave me that spoon. Oh my God, it's so funny that you pulled these out. That's, so <laughs> That's uh, a portrait of my son. <laughs> oh. Is there anything that you want to talk about what's coming up? We're going to make a movie. Myself and Jonas Chernick and Diana Francis are going to make a little indie film next year called The Time We Met, which is exciting. Fab, Fabulous. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Isn't he fabulous? You see how he did that? <laughs> he was guess... terrific. What? I, see, you said fabulous, and I went, terrific. <laughs> Like, share, like, subscribe, comment. We'd like to hear about what your comments are.